Nation. Welcome back to the HodgePodge channel. It's Miss Rebecca, Jeremy. We are here for a special one. We're going to do a box opening. Now, we do know what is in this box. You know what's in this box, right? Yeah, because it notified me on my phone. Okay. But yes. here's kind of, so it's not a surprise. It's not a mystery box. We do have some mystery boxes that are going to be coming, which we're kind of pumped about. But the cool thing about this is that I like collecting the weird. There in twelves when I like collecting the weird. Who gets to collect the weird? Me. Me. So, from the title and everything else, like I said, this is this isn't a big surprise. I just like opening up the box on camera because uh, I have seen people on YouTube that have done this, and if the item from eBay is not described or if something is wonky, you can send them to this, and proof. and it's pretty good proof because we're opening the package. So we've got a box. There's a box inside. I'm gonna dump it out just like so. What a great packaging job. It's in a baggie. All right, so what we have coming out of here are baggies filled with greatness, Becca. Okay. Baggies filled with greatness. It's Bucky O'Hare. Yeah, Bucky O'Hare comes from... Outer space. He does come from outer space. Yeah. He does. I mean, as almost everything in the 90s did, uh, it's very outer spacey. I guess. Okay. Good job. Um, one cool thing about Bucky O'Hare, it was a comic book first. Mm -hmm. And it was created in, I think, 1984-ish, somewhere where the comic book was created. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, written by Larry Hama. Do you know who Larry Hama is? He's very popular in the in the boy geekdom of the world. He helped make Transformers. Good guess, no. Oh. You're on the right path. He did uh, the comic books for G.I. Joe. Oh. And he was the one that created all the file cards and stuff. And he actually used, because he was in Vietnam, oh. so he used some people that he knew in Vietnam to actually write those bio cards and, and stuff like that. That's so neat. later Hanna, he's a he's a cool dude. So Beck, what we're gonna do is we have a box of stuff. We have stuff that's out here. Now, I will say that the seller did us a very nice job of the figures are ziplocked together. Okay? Okay. So what you're gonna do is I want you to pick a baggie, any baggie. Okay. Okay. Open it, have a go with it for three seconds. Okay. And just tell me what you think about it. Go. I'm going to pick this one because I know who it is. That is. Who is that? Bucky O'Hare. He is the main person. Good old Bucky O'Hare. So now, if you look at Bucky, show him up there to the camera. Bucky's pretty cool. Um, like for all 90s toys, um, articulation is not much. Do you know what articulation means? When they can move. When they can move and how much they can move. So what can move on him? What? He has a tail on his butt. Oh, <laughs> you want to show him the tail? On his... <laughs> what? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's Bucky O'Hare. He is the the main dude. Okay. Okay. So he is the main main guy. So show okay. him one more time. Good old Bucky O'Hare. All right. I'll take Bucky. Okay. We're gonna plop Bucky, like right here, maybe. Okay. See if they can see it. You want to know something that's kind of bad about these old toys? What if they're hard to get to stand? His feet are like yeah, this. Yeah, they are. They're kind of clown shoes. All right, uh, you get to pick the next one. Okay. Oh. He. Oh. Hmm. Okay. First off, do you think he's good or bad or not? I think he's a bad guy. You think he is a bad guy? Because he's missing an eyeball. Because he's missing an eyeball. Yeah. He actually is a good a good guy. Oh. Guess what his name might be? Spider Duck. Good guess was Spider Duck. It is not Spider Duck. His name is Dead Eye Duck. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, Dead Eye Duck. So he, um, he's kind of the rocket of the group. Like the rocket the raccoon. Like yes. In Marvel. Yeah. He's he kind of is a shoot 'em uh, first. And not real talk about it. Like a smart mouse. Yeah. Does he have anything on his butt? 
No, but he has duck. I mean, it's definitely a duck butt. Got him a little duck butt. You like that one? Uh, he's okay. He what looks would like you, a spider. Yeah, what would you rate him? Uh, five. Out of? Ten. Out of ten. Okay, so we didn't like. What was this guy's name? Uh, Dead, Dead Eye. Dead Eye Duck. Dead Eye Duck. Dead Eye Duck, okay. So, go on to number two. Mm. Okay. Oh, I think he's, uh, well... I think he's a good guy. Think he's a good guy. Because he's orange. Because he's orange. Are you starting starting to see a theme? Maybe. There might be a theme with that. I've never noticed that until you just said that. All right. So, what do you think his name is? Um, Hound the dog. Good. Hound. That Hound is a character. It's just the wrong franchise. His name is actually Commander huh. Dog Star. That's a terrible name. It is a terrible name, but welcome to the 90s. What do you think of him? What would you rate him? Well, maybe I would rate him higher. Cause... Oh, no. Deadeye's already down on his luck with a five right now. Oh. I mean, he's okay. I... If he sucks, he sucks. I don't, I mean, I guess he's a five. A five as well. He All don't right. do much for me. No? No. Okay. Here, you are, and what did you say, good or bad guy? Good guy. Good guy. You are correct on that. He is a good guy. The the one thing that's actually pretty um, common, I would think, in the world of toys is the good guys are not as interesting as the bad guys. Yeah. Toys and everything. All right. Next one. I'm going to pick him. All right. Because I think he's a bad guy. Oh, think we got us a bad guy. Because Why do you think he's a bad cause guy? Because he's dark blue. Because he's dark blue. Okay. And, has, and green. I am not sure if he has a, a name, but can you tell me what, and first off, all of these are what? Animals. They're all animals. So the premise to Bucky O'Hare is oh. the United uh, Animal Federation versus the United Animal Federation. Versus the bad guy. Versus the Toad Empire. Like, is Battle Toads a thing? Is Battletoads? Battletoads is a thing, and you might see some real similarities to some of these to that. But Because I love that video game. Okay, we're going to talk about a video game here in a little bit, because Bucky O'Hare has some NES history to it. Because he kind of looks, like <clears throat> looks like a robot frog. And guess what his name is? Robot frog. Toadboard. So you're pretty close. It's like... He may have like a, a, another name. I know him as the Toadboard, so I could be wrong on if he may have a name. But he is, um, he's like a stormtrooper. Like a robot. So there would be a ton of them. Okay. Okay, he doesn't. He's a clone. He doesn't really have a personality. He's not a clone because it's not Star Wars. No. But. Um, he's like a clone. They're just dummy. They're dummy characters. So they can pew pew them and, and they get shot and they okay. die. Okay. Uh, his head turns on like that. Okay, that's called. Articulation. Articulation. Good job. All right, I'll take total. Yeah, I give him a seven. Ooh, a seven. You want to know why I would give him less? Why? Because if you look at it right now, what can this figure not do like he that? He can't stand. Not a chance. He's look at that. He's did it on the first try. <laughs> he's very wonky, and he's a little pigeon-footed. I couldn't do that again if my they life depended on it. They do make their feet weird. It is. All, all their feet are sticking up. See, look. Look, two for two. I did it. I knew y'all can't see that. But, all right, grab another one. I'll take these tigers. Okay, thank you. I think, um, I think he's a bad guy. I think he's a bad guy. I don't even know he has a nose ring. Guy. Oh, has a nose ring. And spikes on his arm. Spikes on the arm. He, his, he's a gorilla. He's a gorilla. And I think his name is Colonel... Sanders. No. Colonel... Chimpanzee. Not Colonel Chimpanzee. What is it? His name is Bruiser. Uh oh. So with a name like Bruiser, what would you think of Bruiser? He's a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. He is actually a good guy. Uh oh. Because what color is he? Oh, he's orange. Yep. See? Uh oh. But he has a nose ring. It's... Well, that, I mean, there's people in this world that have a nose ring that aren't bad guys. Sorry for those of you that have nose rings no. that are good humans. I'm trying to think of like, like... Movies and stuff. Uh, you need from to, like the nineties. You need to think of no movies now. See when he's down there, he's off the camera. Oh. 
See, you gotta hold him up. Mm-hmm. Rookie. <laughs> All I, right. I, so I, Bruiser, what would you what would you rate Bruiser? He's like a three. Bruiser's a three. You don't like him. You don't like him. Okay. Wow. So so far, like I said, the bad guys are better than the good guys. The good guys. All right. Next one up. Okay, what you got? A bad guy. A bad guy. <clears throat> this one is my favorite name of all of them. Hmm. You'll never get it. I don't know. Can I have a clue? Uh, well, he's an alligator. What? I know he's an alligator. Well, that's the clue. Um, his name is uh, Gator Face. His name is Al Negator. Al Negator. Al. First Al. name, Negator. Al Negator. Yeah. Al Negator. It's good times. Huh. Like I said, these toys released in the 90s. How old were you in the 90s? Uh, Six? I was born in 83. So how old were you? I was seven. Okay. Say seven? Seven. 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 Seven years old is what we're talking I was about. seven. So, did you see these as a kid? No. Did you have any clue of what these were until this box was open? No. Okay. All right. So, good guy or bad guy? Bad guy. Bad guy. What would you rate him? He's um, got, for the 90s, though, what you don't realize is these guys look awesome, I think. I think he's an 8. He's an 8. All um, right. Purple's my favorite color. Oh. If he was um, yellow. He would be lower. He would be lower. So, because of the color yeah. purple, we're going to go with that. Oh. He is a, he is a uh, <clears throat> good guy. He is a good guy. Huh. His name is One-Eyed Jack. One-Eyed Jack. Good guess. His name is Blinky. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Now, he is kind of the C-3PO. Like the comic relief. Not even, well, he was... Uh, he was he was the ba- he was the I like to call him the bad character that they try to make funny they try to make do some stuff and it's just terrible. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think of a show that you like would... Orko. Kind of, yes, Orko is a great example. Good job. What's that guy's name? Blinky. Yeah, Blinky is one of the worst ones I think. Uh, he looks a lot like Fugitoid from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, again, these figures came out in the 1990s. Mm-hmm. What is just gangbusters in the 1990s? The turtles. The turtles, which are what? Turtles. They're animals that, okay. that do some stuff. Right. So Bucky O'Hare tried to come in with animals. That do some stuff. That did some stuff. But it since it was set in space, it was, different. it was a little bit different. And this popularity of this toy probably took off because of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Huh. Now, I will say it wasn't all that popular these went these went to read uh like bins real real quickly all right you've got another one what are you thinking of him uh that his name is battle toad his name is battle toad captain battle toad he is toad Cur- colonel battle he is toad air marshal oh is it it is toad air marshal i was close so show the camera the toy his hat comes off his hat does come off i give him a nine because his hat comes off? Yeah. Okay. If he was purple, would he be a 10? Maybe, probably. <laughs> All right. So, this is the bad. He's the leader. Yeah, he's the bad. He's the main uh, Yeah. So, he would um, also, Al Negator would be like a one-off. He So, he would be himself. He would be himself. Then the Battle Toad, uh, the Toad Borg, yeah. would be a bunch of them. Okay. Okay? Next up. We're almost there. He's a bad guy. Okay, we got Maybe a bad guy. Maybe he... Yeah, he's a bad guy. Is he a bad guy? He is a bad guy. Now, what does he look a whole lot like? Because you mentioned the video game. Battle Toad. He looks a whole lot like a Battle Toad. That is correct. I'm going to be real honest with you. I have no idea if Battle Toads and this go hand in hand, but it, I mean, they're in the same ball game. Yeah. So It's in like a space kind of <clears throat> yeah. thing. Now, here, here is my second favorite thing about that action figure. He is a bad guy, right? Yeah. Okay, he is also the army builder, uh, the dummy guy that just gets beat up a lot, right? Oh, that's sad. Okay. His name is Storm Toad Trooper. Oh, that's lame. 
<laughs> so his 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 name is Storm. Why does he have K's on his head? Well, I really don't know. But um, on the box, his name is Storm. He may have another name. I, I don't know much about these. All I know is that we bought the whole collection. Look, that K is regular, and that K is backwards. I bet that's. And on his and on his on his bow tie. On his bow tie. I don't. I don't really know what the K stands for. Like I said, you know, I know just this much more than you do about okay. this. Okay. All right, we're on the last one. Oddly enough, you saved this little guy for last. I would have thought this one would have went first. Um, he is supposed to be like the April O'Neil of these. He's broke. Oops. He's not broke. I'm kidding. His hat came off. Here's the beautiful thing about toys of this nature: these don't break. Like you have to take this and like. I give him a six. Six. Yeah, just because he has good colors, but I don't. He don't stand. For, he doesn't stand very good. Well, no, yeah, it's we're having some trouble with him standing. Um, his name is Robert O'Neill. Robert O'Neill. It is not. That is Wiley. Why is he dressed like a monkey? Well, because he has to fit in to look like these guys. Do they not know he's a boy? They do know he's a boy, but this suit kind of um. Go oh, it goes, around. it goes on his face like that? Yeah. Oh. He uh, He's a 10-year-old kid that kind of runs around. And that's that's one uh, huh. that's one thing that's kind of... Uh, you've got to have... Like, they had April. They had KC. Yeah. Shredder, even, for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a boy. So you've got to get the, Human. the humans into this stuff. What would you rate him? He, he's like the genius scientist of it all. And he's 10? He's 10. And he's taller than... Uh, the boss. The boss, yeah. I give him a six. You give him a six. What would you give, because this is every figure that was ever created. Okay. Okay? So what would you give the collection, because this is every one of them. I give it a six. A six out of all. Yeah. Now, there were two vehicles huh. that were in, in, included in this. We do not, we don't have vehicles. Okay. Um, one looks, they're both spaceships. One looks like uh, this guy's face, really, and flies around. Uh -huh. Kind of looks like that. That is so, it's Battle Toads. It is. It's, and, and probably looking up after this, we'll look and see if it's Battle Toads. I, I, I just saw that it was a cheap 90s toy lot that would be cool, and I, yeah. I like when I can buy one auction and I get all the figures. Yeah, that's a good deal. Now, here's two things uh, but, so we could wrap this video up. Number one is they're remaking these today. So, I think so far, they've got Bucky O'Hare, yeah. and they're kind of like in uh, Marvel Legend or the classic He-Man versions. Okay. They've got more articulation, they're a little bit bi bigger, but they're real, um, they're real true to what they look like. Okay. I believe they have him, 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 mm -hmm. and of course, they have a girl. In the cartoon. But they didn't make the girl. They never make they, the girls. They never made the girls because they were, They said they would not sell. Now, the cool thing was is this, I believe, if I, 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 I'm going to lie to you a little bit on the date, but these were released like last Easter. The new ones? Yeah. Okay. And they made one that he was painted all black. Why? Because he was an Easter bunny. I don't know. It was kind of, it, I hated everything about it. Kind of clever. But his outfit was black. <clears throat> I can't remember, but he wasn't green. He was black. He looked like a chocolate bunny that you would eat on. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So I figured you'd get a kick out of that. But they've that's got. Cute. But they did make the girl. I think her name's Jenny. I think. Is she a rabbit? She. Uh, an animal. She's oh yeah, she's definitely an animal. She's either like a lynx, like a cat, uh -huh. or I can't remember. I bet it's a cat because they have a dog. <clears throat> because. The one thing that I always had, like these, these were going to the store with mom or dad and these were shut up toys is what I call them <laughs> because they were only a couple bucks and they were like, here, open those, play with them in the cart. We'll pay for them when we get up in the thing. And we were, they were, you know, shopping for yeah. groceries or whatever. So that's, that's how I know them. And that's how I come to, come oh. to love them. <clears throat> so one other cool thing about it is, is that toys aren't all that sought after you can mm -hmm. like i think we spent like less than 80 bucks on yeah. the, on the whole lot of stuff here you can get them still carded for 
20 bucks a piece, um, brand new. So they're not astronomically uh, expensive. Right. What they are, though, is when you go to the NES side and you get Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare on the original Nintendo is one of the most sought-after games and ranked up there high as one of the best games on the Nintendo. Really? Yes. Um, I didn't know it was a game. <clears throat> it is. Uh, it runs about 100 bucks. Um, and for an NES game, that's from what we've seen anyway, yeah. just a little bit of the ones we've rebought to play. Yeah. That's expensive for a Nintendo game. Yeah. And um, but it's it is ranked up there as one of the one of the coolest cool. coolest ones. So what are these things called? Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare. Yeah. And how do you think they spelled hair? H-A-R-E. That's right. They spelled it like the animal. Well, any, any, funny. any, it is. Uh, any final thoughts on Bucky O'Hare? Um, I think their names are terrible. Their names are terrible, but to be quite fair, um, I mean, Skeletor, the baddest of all the baddies of the 80s, is called Skeletor. I think that's a good name. And then he has Beast Man and Merman and... <laughs> That guy's name's He-Man. Uh, names were not real creative back then. Kind of terrible. I do wish. Th I do wish their legs had more articulation. Well, that's that's a '90s thing. So if you want to get these, you can go on to things, and we can get and compare them if you want. Okay. We can do that. Maybe in the next video. But for now, Bucky O'Hare. Bucky. Bucky O'Hare. The theme song to this is bad. It's awesome awesome. Hmm. Peace out, home skillets!